So we recently made a video going over 1.5, 1.6 and the future of Honkai Stereo. I didn't think I was going to have to make an update video this soon, but I've been seeing Ruan Mei just blasted everywhere. So I had to check to see what's going on, and apparently she is now overloaded. She does it all. She's essentially if Bronya and Asta had a baby. Yo, what up, Toshi here. We're going to go over Ruan Mei in today's video because, well, I guess we probably should, right? So what makes Bronya really good and what separates her from other characters is that she is hyper carry centric. Most of her buffs is tailor made for one character. You can put another damage dealer inside the team comp with said damage dealer, but you have to make sure that damage dealer doesn't take any resources from Bronya or the other damage dealer. So you can use a character like Clara in the same team as Bronya because she functions very well with Bronya and another damage dealer. That's because she doesn't take any of the skill points this character desperately needs and none away from the other damage dealer that desperately needs those skill points as well. Now Asa is just a character that's very flexible. You can use her in hyper carry teams, but most of her value comes from buffing more than one damage dealer. And that is thanks to the fact that she gives an attack and speed boost that is dependent on her own turns to the whole team. So you can use her with two other damage dealers. She's very good with dot teams specifically because her buffs are very general. So Asus is really good for dot teams because in those teams, you don't want your damage dealers to necessarily crit because she doesn't provide any crits, in this case, Asta. Now, Hoyo had the right idea when it came to designing Ruan Mei. She was going to be the perfect character to fill in the slot that was missing in the Harmony Path. She was a character that was going to provide buffs just like Asta, a very nice team eccentric harmony character versus being a hyper carry centric harmony character because we already have three characters that fill in that gap for hyper carry team so we didn't necessarily need a fourth but with her being the first limited harmony character i guess we could have just said we should have seen this coming now what does she do that's different from all these other characters nothing really different now the reason why silver wolf is thrown into the mix here is because silver wolf allows your characters to do more damage by providing your team with her weakness implant effect, but specifically the resist shred she throws on the enemy and the defense shred as well. Her debuffs are a little different versus the buffs a character like Ruan May would provide, but she does help with getting out that extra damage with the debuffs that she does, or should I say buffs in this case, like Silver Wolf does with the debuffs. So for characters like Kafka, this is godsend. You want a character that is going to buff the whole team and not necessarily just your sole damage dealer. Kafka is very good with other damage dealers 1 to 2. Heck, if you have two damage dealers and you're using Kafka and then you have Ruan Mei, you'll have a team that can be very strong. Now, obviously, since there is no character that heals the team, you just have to make sure that your team is just very strong. Or for whale players, she's really good if you're trying to have triple DPS setups. So as I said before, she does what all the Harmony characters do, but better. So that means you can put her in hyper carry teams with a character like Jing Lu, and it helps that they're both the same element. So that's going to help you shred the weakness of the enemy more consistently, breaking down their toughness, and freezing them more often. So I obviously can't say exactly what Ruan Mei does, but being able to capitalize on breaking the weakness of the enemy is going to be even better. If you're a character that provides the same buffs that Asta provides, but also provides buffs of harmony like hyper carry characters, well then obviously Jing is going to love that, because Asta gives the speed this character needs, in order to take the turn before Lightning Lord takes his turn, allowing Jean to get those 10 stacks more consistently. And well, if you have a character that provides the same amount of buffs that Asta does provide, but more tailor-made buffs, then you're going to love that character more. And it also helps that as of recently, you've been probably using Topaz with him. So Topaz is going to benefit from Ruan Mei as well, just like Jean, making Asta feel a little obsolete. Now, Himiko is a character that benefits from the enemy having their weakness broken because she gets a charge and she's able to follow up on the enemy. Now, I can envision a team where the enemy is weak to fire. And the reason why I bring this up is because you can have Ruan Mei with Himiko and Topaz in the same team party. And in AoE settings, you're just going to absolutely shred the enemy's weakness and allow your Topaz to be constantly pushed up for the action forward and Himiko to constantly forward the action of Numbi and deal mass amount of damage to the enemy because their weakness is broken all the time. Now what makes Fu Shuan one of the best characters in the game is that the buffs are dependent on Fu Shuan's own turns. So the HP buffs that Fu Shuan gives to the allies, the resist buff that she gives to the allies as well, CC blockage that is, the crit buffs she provides to the team, and the overall damage mitigation she gives is dependent on her own turns. And therefore she is a skill point positive character that virtually any character in the game loves to use 
because again, no matter how fast your damage dealer is, you're still going to keep those buffs. It's crazy. For some characters that already break the weakness of the enemy so often, you're going to love a character that is able to help you do that much more often. So, well, for Su Xing, that's a huge plus too. So what I'm trying to say is that every character in the game is going to love Ruan Mei because she does what all the Harmony characters do, but better. And I mean, the thing is Bronya is still going to hold her value because Bronya is just very good for hyper carry teams. But what if there was a team where you can use Bronya and Ruan Mei? Then that team would be absolutely bonkers. And then you would just destroy everything. I mean, you already destroyed everything in Honkai Star Rail. But the fact of the matter is that since content is getting harder, well, you can benefit from having a stronger support. Now, that might not seem enticing to a lot of players because obviously you may not have that many gems to spare, just like me. Now, I don't spend on the game and I probably should because I'm a creator, but I've always wanted to try to keep a free-to-play mindset to help you all and to sympathize, or should I say empathize, with those of you that are not able to do so. The crazy thing is, is that the Harmony has some of the best light cones in the game. You're able to give energy by just attacking the enemy, which is good for skill point positive Harmony characters, because you're going to be attacking the enemy every turn after you use your skill, and therefore you're going to generate more energy on those turns. If you're a character that buffs the whole team, where well, are you going to further buff the team by pushing up the action for it as well whenever you use your ultimate? So for teams that want to all pretty much take the turn and deal damage to the enemy, you have another strong light cone to do that. For some mono ice teams, you have a light cone that allows you to boost up the damage of everyone in that team. And if you're a character that promotes a mono ice team, you're going to really like this light cone choice. So I could say for certain that Harmony characters have some of the best tools in the game, if not the best tools. So it's very hard to say that a Harmony character will never be good. Now, one of the things I can say that Ruan May probably won't do, and that's heal. So Wolf Will definitely does have a lot of value when it comes to Bullworth and 1.5. So out of 1.5 and 1.6, I would say that she still stands toe-to-toe -to -toe with Ruan May. But if you already have some defensive options, you can just use a defensive option in place of Wolf Will and just save your gems for Ruan May. And then get those same buffs that Wolf Will will provide for your team from a character that will provide that to your team and more and for longer turns, and is skill point positive too. That's pretty insane. So there you have it. I'm still trying to process exactly why Ruan Mei is as strong as she is right now. Now obviously with her being the first limited Harmony character, I guess that's the reason as to why we can say she's as strong as she is. I really did expect her to be strong as a different version of Bronya in certain team comps. For instance, like Asta, a 5-star version of Asta. But when she's a 5-star version of Asta and a 5-star version of Ting Yun, a 5-star version of, you know, Yukong, then things get a little crazy. Now, I'm not saying the value of Ting Yun is diminished because Ting Yun still gives energy to an ally. That's amazing. That's the best part of the character after all. But when you have a character that is able to give speed to hold... Okay, again, I cannot go into detail about what Ronmei does because obviously I don't want my channel to get taken down. But all you need to know is that she's a character that is going to be very hard to skip. Probably the most hard to skip character in a very long time. That's the video here. Thank you for watching and have a nice rest. I forgot to mention this in the beginning of the video, but I'm planning on potentially maybe covering Black Clover Mobile when that does release on the 30th of November. Uh, if it does release, I don't know for sure if I am going to cover that game. I've been watching the anime and I've been really enjoying it. I've been a fan of Asta, not Asta and Honkai Star, but Asta and Black Clover Mobile. I know, I found that they have both the same name, spelled the same exact way, and I was a little surprised. But anyways, I've been really enjoying anime. I think I want to play that game, maybe cover it. So if I do, I'll let you all know if I do decide to cover that on a different channel. Thank you for watching, and have a nice rest of your day. Peace.